Talk TV and Talk Radio presenter James Whale has announced he is dying of terminal cancer. The radio host, 71, shared his fight with the disease as he gave a heartbreaking speech at the British Curry Awards in London on Monday night. James says he has just months to live, two years after he revealed he was fighting cancer which had spread to his brain, spine, kidney, and lungs. Addressing the audience at the ceremony, he said, I know a lot of you won't like me, but this time next year I won't be here. I have terminal cancer. As you might be able to hear, I am having chemotherapy which makes it harder for me to breathe, but I'm okay. Don't worry. I am in my 70s now and I just want to say don't waste your time on stupid things that don't matter, he said. 25 years later I've got it again. I'm 71 and I had a great life. James went on to talk about his friend Denim Ali, the founder of the British Curry Awards who recently died of cancer. He was one of my best mates, he showed us that as communities we can all get on together. For that tonight I would like to give you a round of applause. James went on, when I'm on my TV or radio show, people might go, oh, that's a bit controversial, I just want people to live together and stop being so by stupid all the time. Because when you get to 70, some of you will know, you can look back at your life and think maybe you could have done that differently. Despite the heartbreaking news, James put on a brave face for the ceremony. The radio star gave a thumbs on to cameras on the red carpet and posed with his wife Nadine Talbot Brown, whom he married last year. James also recently spoke about his cancer diagnosis in his column with The Express as he expressed his sympathies to a place in the sun's John Irwin, who also has terminal cancer. He wrote, I found it very difficult to talk about mine because I didn't want people to think I was using it to get sympathy or for any other reason. But along with a number of other people in the public eye, I am at stage 4. There is no stage 5. I don't want sympathy, I've had a good life but I do find talking about it helps me and although that might sound selfish, hopefully it helps others too. Johnny, mate, I wish you the best of luck. It is very difficult and you're a lot younger than me. But I did start this journey 25 years ago. Hopefully things will help you get through that weren't available previously, while the amount of work being done on fighting cancer is amazing. Two years ago, James had to take time off from his radio presenting role due to his health. The radio host has been frank about his battle over the years and admitted when he was first diagnosed he thought about ending his life at Dignitas. Struggling to deal with the news, euthanasia plagued James' mind as the talk radio star lamented the thought might as well go and get it over with, but decided against it as he wanted to live past 70. He told the son, I came home, had a little think about things. I decided I'm just booking myself a trip to Dignitas. You might as well just go and get it over with. I'd looked into it quite some time ago because Melinda died two years ago and it's been something in the back of my mind. He continued, this little BD has spread. It's in my remaining kidney. I've got a couple of small lesions in my lungs. I've got it in my spine. I've got it in my brain. It's been 20 years since he had a kidney removed after doctors found a tumor in 2000. James was hit by tragedy when his wife Melinda died in 2018 after a battle with lung cancer.
James rocketed to fame in the 1980s when he established himself as the host of the James Whale radio show in Leeds. The radio presenter was a big name on Talk Sport for 13 years. Later, he starred in Celebrity Big Brother in 2016.